All right, so we're going to start to wrap our spay cap. The first thing you're going to want to do is to lay out all the items that you're going to need. I laid out and identified all the instruments I was going to need, and we have a master list for you. I laid out my 20 gauze squares. They're pre-counted, so I don't have to stop to do it while I'm wrapping, and my indicator strip. So your book outlines how to place your instruments in your pack. So lay down your cloth wrap, your paper wrap, and then you're going to start to collect your instruments. So place them in your hand. You can either put your finger in here or just hook them to your hand like this. Place them just lined up in a row. I'm not going to go over each individual instrument at this point because there's another PowerPoint that goes over those. So here are my instruments. When you place them in your hand, you're going to want to make sure you go tallest to shortest when, and curved to straight. So like these instruments will lay nicely against each other. These are a little bit off. It's just how we have the packs lined up. You'll also find that you're, we're lining them up for function too. You want to keep your instruments together. You place your spay hook inside one of the loops. Place it flat. And see how it lays nicely? Your towel clamps and your straight instruments come next. The straight instruments. See how the tines all point into that. Same thing for these. Because remember, you have to wrap these without them poking through. Your medicine and bombs are going to slide underneath. And your medicine and bombs, or your mayos go on top. And there is your instrument placement. Somewhat forms a little rectangle. Indicator strip. Yours won't have the okay on it already. I'm just using a previous one. Your gauze squares on top of that. So you can see how everything's nice, neat, and flat. Okay, you're going to start your wrapping process using that same diamond pattern that we keep talking about. The bottom edge is going to come up. And if you can tell, I'm not yanking my flaps up. I want to keep my instruments nice and straight. So, fold your other flap over. Line up your edge. other edge over. Remember, you don't need to pull so tight that you poke your instruments through your wrap. Just make it nice and snug. Bring it up and over. And tuck it in your case. Okay. There's your inner wrap. That will be the pack that only sterile people can touch. Your Outer wrap, you're going to repeat the same process. Bottom edge is going up. Okay, this one I'm going to make sure is definitely snug also. Bring this edge over. Okay. And then you're going to take your top flap, bring it up over, and tuck it into the case. Now, this is the point where you can hear people say, well, to check to see if you have your pack wrapped tight enough, you throw it against the wall. That's really a no-no because you're going to break your instruments. But if you really want to check it, pick it up by one of the corners and you can shake it. If it doesn't come undone, you have it wrapped tight enough. Okay. And we are going to find our edge of our tape. Because remember, our tape's not keeping our pack together. Tape is just letting us know the sterile seal has not been broken. So you're going to put your autoclave tape on it, and we're going to label it with what type of pack it is. In this case, it's a spade pack. You're going to put the date. It's autoclave and your initials. And there is your spade. 